Please ignore it. Hi, good morning. It is currently Wednesday, February 9th, which I'm sure you guys have seen by now. I'm trying something different with my filming, and so far, I really like the way that the shots are coming out, but I realized very quickly, people that film like this, it takes some time to really make sure every angle is good, that you have the right stuff in the background, that it doesn't look crazy. Like right now, I'm not worried about that, but like doing these cinematic shots, you have to make sure that everything just looks good. Yeah, the amount of times that I've moved stuff around to like make sure that it's not in the background is crazy but we're being productive today i woke up at around 7 30 once again you guys have probably already seen it's currently 9 30 so i've been up for a good two hours they're still wrapped up yeah so this is a productive day in my life so not only am i like trying to switch up my filming style sorry it's really cold in here not only am i trying to like switch up my filming style but i'm trying to like aggressively change my lifestyle not aggressively i'm being dramatic i just certain things in my lifestyle which probably aren't that noticeable to you all really because i don't post that often so you wouldn't be able to see it anyways it's just a few things that like i would just like to start incorporating into my routines things that i would like to like tone back on so i want to get better at being productive what better time to do that it's the beginning of the year it's not the beginning of the year because it's february 9th better late than never one thing that I want to start incorporating is journaling. I started doing this a while ago and kind of fell off. I want to start doing it every morning. The word is intention today, which I think is perfect for a productive day. Yeah, so I already journaled today, which is really nice. I've already written in my planner. I have a separate journal and a separate planner. My planner is more like structural, like you have to do this, deadlines, my rent is due, when assignments are due, when projects are due. I've been using a planner for a long time and I really like using a planner it's just worked out for me i really go hard and try and make sure that i write stuff in i try and make sure that i put it in here so i can remember it because the small stuff is what slips your mind i also want to start getting up at 6 a.m i was doing this consistently i started a little last year and i did it maybe a week and then after that it was like okay like every other day i would get up at 6 a.m and then i just kind of fell off especially over break i came back to school i was doing it for about two or three weeks getting up at 6 a.m. and I had like a consistent schedule. I would get up at 6, do schoolwork. At around like 7.30, I would start getting dressed to go to the gym. Go to the gym from 8 to 9. Shower, get dressed for class, get ready to go. 
out the door. I want to get back into doing that. My boyfriend was living here with me for about a week and a half and so that kind of threw me off. Before he was here though I was on that schedule but I mean I don't get to see my boyfriend that often. I mean I do but I don't. We're long distance. He doesn't go here. We're about three and a half hours away from each other so when I do get to spend time with him I try and suck it all in. I don't want that to come across as him like not keeping me motivated because he definitely does that. I'm gonna switch out my battery because it's washing. I feel like the angle kind of switched up there but you wouldn't let me lose some. Um I just want Jeez. I just want to do a few lifestyle changes. I'm starting to get to that age where why am I talking like I'm getting old? I'm literally only 20. I turned 21 this year though. Getting to that age where like my career is like tunnel vision. Getting to that point in my program. If you don't know, I'm in college. I stay in my own apartment. Well, I have roommates, Gabby and Haley, which are the majority of you guys I've seen before. If not, just go back to my other content. Pretty much all of us are like getting to that point. We're, like almost halfway through college now which is mind-boggling to think about frankly i am halfway because i'm graduating early that may change just based on like me picking up extra classes and doing things like that i'm just getting to that point where i really need to focus time for me to as much as we all do it and like i'm rising stuff to get by it's time for me to like really settle down i don't know build a notebook build my plan get ready so that when i graduate i can get a job and things are just set up for me it's just like about that time for me to like really be on my boss shit develop consistency when it comes to school i go through my little waves and i'm like really good and really high and on a really good schedule and then i'll just drop my toe and just not want to do anything i'm like unmotivated and i feel like i give 110 and then it goes to like 25 because i'm like whoa 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 so you roll the majority of the time i'm at 110 when i do drop down it's like so i just need to get better at that but yeah it's 9 40 i usually try and leave here to go to class at 10 luckily it's going to be easier for me to develop Develop consistent schedule because my schedule every day of the week is pretty much the same. Monday is for my only classes at 11 15 and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays my first class is at 11 and then I have a second class at 2. So basically what I do which you guys will see this I'll film a week in my life soon because technically I haven't had like a full week classes yet since the start of the semester which is kind of crazy. The first week was MLK. The second week I went home for my mom's birthday and then got stuck because I had like car problems. So I missed like two days of classes so it hasn't been a full week so i will probably go a full week of classes and it'll be like my first week of i pretty much have to be on campus at the same time every day so i usually every day try and leave here between 10 30 and 10 45 make it on campus on time but this video is really just getting back on track really just after my boyfriend left to make sure that i am concentrated and focused yeah i'm rambling a lot Aww. Uh, I was texting my boyfriend. I told him like, I'm filming a productive day in my life. And I was like, the shots are coming out pretty good. So I hope everything comes together. He texted me and he said, you're good at what you do. So it probably will. Oh, we love Bay. We love BB. But yeah, pretty soon I'm going to have to start getting ready. I don't usually like dress up or nothing. I kind of mm -hmm. just throw on a graphic tee and keep going but i don't know what i'm talking about i have been sitting here for long enough we are going to get ready to go to class together so we both have to get up and get ready so i'm about to get up wash my face and start getting ready i'm not gonna lie filming took a lot of time for the most part i was probably filming just the little clips that you guys have seen so far because i'm sure i'm gonna chop it down to be like pretty small i was filming that for like a good hour in between then i got a little bit of work done but i didn't get too much work done so i'll do the same thing tomorrow and i'll probably get a lot more done but this is what a productive day in my life would look like probably make me a cup of coffee shout out to bae for getting that for christmas and then i'll just get to work so we're gonna start getting dressed pack up our bag and head out the door finally figured out somewhere to place y'all okay so are we dressed and ready yes we necessarily like the fit let's not talk about it okay we have on what is it called a cardigan the oatmeal color the top is like the same color as well it's just like a top top i think i got this from either rainbow or forever 21. you have all these leggings that i got from fashion nova and these are literally my favorite leggings 
ever. I'll put a picture of like what the whole get together looks like. I mean, the top is cute, don't get me wrong, but I don't necessarily want more of the tops. I just want more of the bottoms. I don't really have shoes to match. I just put on my Air Forces that are so dirty to like kind of match because they're basically this color. Uh, I don't necessarily love the fit, but we're gonna we're gonna rock with it. Hair is taken down. It's not done yet. I still need to wash my face too, though. So I'm gonna like clip my hair back. I really want to do an updated skincare routine for one because the last time I did one I think was like years ago if I'm like wrong actually I'm lying I just did a Vogue secrets video if you haven't seen that video I'm really proud of that video and it didn't get that much attention so if you could just go and check that out that would be nice yeah I want to do one for one because I felt like I haven't done one in a long time and for two I really just need to get my skin back on track again what time is it I took my sweet old time in the shower but yeah let me wash my face because I kind of need to hurry up it is 10 40. I should be gone right now, but filming, <laughs> y'all get it. Anyways, the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. Just leave it at that. I'm gonna just do a quick little washing because I'm gonna be out the door in like five minutes. My class is at 11.15, but too, I don't have a parking pass for the lot that's like right next to my building. So I have to like do a whole situation. I have to like drive to the school gym and then get on the bus from there to go to like the rounding area of the building. And then I have to walk to the building. So it really won't take me 30 minutes to get there. It'll probably take me around like 15, but I try and do this early so I can make it to class time. Like, I'm gonna just blow dry my hair out a little bit. Which I did a curly hair routine on my reel and my TikTok. If you haven't watched those, go check them out. But I will probably do like a YouTube version. Yeah, like see, it just gives it a little more pizzazz. It looks a little fuller, honestly, and like longer. It adds volume and like obviously a little bit of length. And like my curls are still curly cute. Sally Sue, ready to do to do. So, yeah. I need to go because it is 10.53. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed in myself. I promise y'all, I'm like never this late for real. Actually, I'm normally one of the first people in class, like waiting outside the door, like before the teacher. We're gonna go. So I'm gonna turn off the camera, put some lotion on my face, and run to the bar. Y'all, I'm struggling. Just looking. Hit my mirror. I always get awkward when I'm walking to the car, especially because I'm gonna be so late because my car is mental. I have to let it like heat up, heat up before I leave. And it's 1054. I'm like thinking about parking in the lot next to the building. But do I want to risk getting a ticket? Because I do not feel like paying for that. Um, Yeah, my car is mental and it has to heat all the way up before I can move. Yeah, but I always get so paranoid when I'm walking to the car. Especially like at my apartment because it's so many cars around. Like it's probably somebody looking at me right now. And I don't even know. You'll probably see me do this to my hair a lot because I feel like my hair is so flat. And I hate when my hair is too flat. Well, I'm about to be so late though. It's sad. Like I'm actually like sad. And then... Not only, oh shit. Not only am I late, I'm finna walk in here with a camera. Y'all, I really might park in this lot. I really might. I just don't wanna get no ticket. I need to just take my ass to the bus. It's actually hot. Like, I did not need to put on this sweater. I'm so disappointed in myself. It is 11.02 and I still gotta catch the bus and I still gotta walk to class. And I still gotta walk to the top floor. I'm finna be late, so I'ma just take my time because I'm not gonna go in there after running and sweating and still be late. I'm probably only gonna be late by like 80, 10 minutes if that shit, everybody must be late because y'all zooming through this campus i'm pretty sure the speed limit is 25. oh it's so many people this makes me so nervous i'm turning baby okay since nobody can go i'll go shit it's so many people today is wednesday why is it so many fucking people i know this bus is gonna be full as fuck oh hell i should have just drove over there we have vertical walls 
Um, into your elevations, you're gonna have a little toe kick for your I ended up leaving the school at probably around 2.30. I was gonna stay longer, but I realized very quickly that a class came after me. I didn't want to be in there and interrupt. Just get out of their hair. So I left and I don't know if like subconsciously my mom was like trying to tell me how much I don't want to stay there and keep working. I didn't even think about the fact that I could have just left that room and went to one of the 10,000 seating areas there and done something else. But I didn't think about that until I literally walked in the door and I wasn't going back. Yeah, but I took a break, that which is important, and I got me a little snack drank me a little bit of water and I watched a podcast really quick and I told myself as soon as the podcast is over I would get up and start doing schoolwork again. I have this project that is due tomorrow which I haven't worked on since this morning so we're gonna get that done. I'm gonna start knocking that out. It shouldn't take me too long. I think I'm in a really good position as far as like the requirements but I definitely have some work to do. I'm like nowhere near finished so I need to get this done. <laughs> I'm 
completely forgot I was filming today. I'm kind of <laughs> disappointed in myself, but I was still productive. Don't get me wrong. I, Y'all see. Okay, I just sent out an email to one of my teachers. I was going back and forth working on that PowerPoint Word document and just like a few other things. I like to like go back and forth, just spending too much time on one thing just like completely, you know, messes with me. So I like to kind of jump around. But like I said, it is now currently 11.09. So I'm going to call it a night. I've been pretty productive today. I got a lot of things done off my checklist. I'm just about to hop in the shower, clean all this up, pack up my bag tomorrow or like have it set up so I can do some stuff in the morning and yeah but thank you guys so much for watching I'm so excited to see how this content came out and like how it's gonna look together I'm so excited to film more I kind of have like an idea of where I want to take my channel it's gonna be the same it's gonna be me but just like you know a little bit different a little more scaled and not just like getful even though I literally forgot I was filming today it's a little more structured which is the goal and hopefully that'll keep me on track with this style i'm gonna try and make my videos possibly a little shorter or making them more like weekly vlogs so that it's not so much of a hassle if that makes sense anyways i'll probably get into more detail about that in a different video that's pretty much it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed genuinely and i hope you guys were productive along with me and yeah so excited for future content yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Sixty, 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 sixty